Death in the Maiden, I felt, <laughs> I felt that it's he... It's a play by Ariel Dorfman that we both did, and it was misfitting pieces is the best way I can describe it. I would be the most misfitting piece, <laughs> but the Jonas Jurisius had directed it in Latvia or Lithuania. Lithuania. And he, on the first day, he showed me the picture of the actress who, who did it, to which I just thought, oh, she's beautiful. And I'm not like I just felt, you know. And, How and you say I that? know. Anyway, I mean, I'm my a... issue, my issue. But 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 yeah, I took all the wrong things from Jonas, and I wish I'd taken more from you and Jonas, and not felt oppressed by what he was giving me, because I allowed it to feel oppressed. He one day he had me improvise. Do you remember this? Uh, okay, Fiona, you are a great big swooping bird. I want bird swooping, and and so I did. I did the whole thing as a bird. I don't think the text was involved. And, and I, I said, okay, Jonas, I did that. I said, but I don't really do poultry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I did say something like that. Did you or use the word poultry? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, or wildlife. It's not, you know, and, and then I remember saying, where does this fit with the text? Where does it fit with the text? And I'm sure he just thought, oh, she is so boring. She is so boring. But, but I should have been more open to him. But I have a theory that he came from a communist, at one point, communist um, inducted culture where the text wasn't as important, where you had to peek through the lines in the text to get your message across. So he wanted to laden it with what I call German Expressionism, which I actually love, but I fought tooth and nail and kept going, the text, the text, to agree that was nothing but pedantic. And, uh, and I think I was still fighting. But you were good in the show. I yeah, just put it down and people record. loved that show. Oh my God, they and love you the were show. good in it. So and there so you were you. Out and of sorts. Yeah. But bad good tempered and a real and a drag very to good be around. Show. So how, did that, how does that fit together? Well, just don't behave like that in future, Fiona Reed, is the thing. It's because don't make it a drag for other people. Um, I think I was fighting a feminist agenda that had something to do with an old. Sometimes you're fighting with an old recording because I don't think I was necessarily getting that, but I received it as a feminist, seeing that photo of the actress on the first day and me not feeling I measured up to her and, and feeling that I should be great swooping bird and that somehow that should poultry. feed your work of poultry. <laughs> so, but um, it is an example, which is why it's useful talking about for yes, me. Yes, it is. Is that the, how do you deal with a director that you're just from different worlds? The, the kind of the kind of template or the palette that you were working from and the template and the palette that he was working from were like from Mars. So what do we do as actors when we're given? We take the director out for a drink and we say, how do we find a way? I've become way <clears throat> better at negotiating skills because uh, I worked with Christopher Newton on the audience and he knows me so well that he had a way of working with me, which was, if I can treat Fiona a certain way, like really push her a bit, everyone can see that I can treat Fiona this way, so it, it, it's okay then with everybody else, or something, you know. And, he, and, he, and um, this was towards the end of his career, it was the last show he directed, and, and he was very brave, working in not great health. So, he maybe had a shorter fuse than usual, but I didn't receive well him reducing my status um, because I was playing the queen. So, so I, 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 I went for him a drink, a glass of wine, and I said, Chris, you know, I, I don't think it helps to reduce my status in the room. Um, no, I never would have done that as a young actor. Um, that being said, I don't, I don't. And think, how did that turn out with him? I don't think he found it easy to work with me because I don't think he understood what I was doing, that I was trying well, to... Wait a minute, you've done so many shows together. Yes, but playing the queen demanded something different and I think, I think again, I should have demanded I need to work on the physicality of the queen and do all kinds of things because he really wasn't interested in working on that in the room. He wanted to work different stuff. I needed to work what is my, I'm sitting in a chair as the queen. How do we make this, how do we make, he had a different idea. 
he had a very different idea about how the quick changes happen. The quick changes, the transformations from the Queen, she's supposed to happen in front of the audience from 80 to 24. He had a different idea of how that would happen, that I was gobsmacked because I discovered it in the middle of rehearsal and said, this can't be a quick change off stage. The audience has to see this transformation. And then I realized it wasn't my place because I discovered it at a time in rehearsal and I had no opinion. And, and I do think the play suffered for not having those be part of the theatricality of it. So we had a real difference of opinion. And does there ever come a point where you, where it's the actor's duty to say, I did. I'm sorry. This I did. Is a, this is the no-go area now. I did. When we, we had a Christmas break and, I, and it came down to a difference of opinion and, and one of the producers at Mervish came and said, um, he wants this and he wants it off stage. And, and I, 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 I said, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, I, I have this, I, I don't want everything off stage. I really believe that this can happen. In a, and then I realized, I got off the phone, I'm not the director. I'm not going to get my way. And I phoned back and said, I'll do everything he wants. Because it's my job. I can't see what he sees. I will always think I was right, but directors, there's a point where they go, this is my vision. Jonas Juricius would have done the same thing. Robin Phillips would have done the same thing. Richard Cotter would have done the same thing.